13th September 2023, Citizens United for Democracy in Nigeria condemns the judicial sabotage of Plateau State's election petition tribunal. We, as a leading pro democracy organization in Nigeria, strongly the National Assembly in Plateau State on the 25th February 2023. The unjust verdict, tainted by grave level of corruption underscores a disheartening setback for transparency, justice, and democracy in Nigeria. The election petition tribunal primary responsibility is to ensure fair and impartial adjudication in electoral disputes. Regrettably, this sacred duty to uphold the sanity of democratic process has been compromised by the rampant influence of corrupt, corruption and vested interests as clearly manifested by the way and manner the National Assembly election petition tribunal sitting in just have gauging the duly elected members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Citizen United for Democracy in Nigeria has meticulously analyzed the proceedings of the election petition tribunal and discovered an alarming series of irregularities, casting serious doubts on the integrity and impartiality of the judgment of the judgment. Our investigation revealed clear indication of political interference and hidden agendas leading to compromised decision where the same tribunal is giving contradictory judgment on the same issue. Democratic principles form the cornerstone of a progressive society, empowering citizens to choose their leaders freely and fairly. Nigeria as a vibrant and dynamic nation must embrace the principles of transparency and accountability to cultivate an environment where citizen voices and values are respected. We call upon the National Judicial Council and other anti graft agencies to take immediate action and investigate this corrupt judgment thoroughly. The integrity of the judiciary must be safeguarded, and all those involved in silent judgment, whether the judges, lawyers, or political actors, must face severe consequences for subverting the democratic process. The People's Democratic Party conducted its primary election in line with the provision of the Electoral Act 2022, which the delegate system was duly followed. The inconsequential issue of qualification that the judge, Honorable Justice M.B. Tuku, is leveraging has been settled up to the Supreme Court. Where did he get the audacity from to subvert the will of the party people on the ground of a compiled, on the ground of a settled court case since 2021? It is rather unfortunate that even the PDP complied with the Honorable, the Honorable Justice Samson Gang and Justice Ishaku Kunda judgment and re reconducted fresh Congress in September 2021. The corrupt judges turned blind eyes on, the, on this fact and hacked our electoral members and, sen and a senator with a sentimental judgment. Besides, in Augustine Timuku versus Joseph Lange early this year, the federal hack was sitting in just held that the PDP complied with the Justice Gang judgment as delivered by Honorable Justice D.V. Agishi, validating the state executive of the party as duly elected. The same judgment was also and mostly affirmed by the Court of Appeal in just in favor of the PDP by Honorable Justice T.Y. Hassan, Honorable Justice A.I.A. Adeyi Ade Ngutu, and Honorable O.O. Gulob on the 11th of February 2023. The implication of this judgment is that PDP has a valid and solid structure through which our mandate was given and we are optimistic that the appeal court will reverse the judgment of the tribunal. Also, despite the evidence standard before the tribunal by the INEC and PDP on the repeat Congress conducted on the 25th December 2021 as a result of the court's ruling, the tribunal went ahead to declare this, this, that senator, went ahead to declare that senator Napoleon, Bali, Honorable Bani, La, and Honorable Musa, Bagos, and Honorable Peter, Kenya have been disqualified on the ground of the so-called structural issues. We want to know under which provision of the Constitution and the Electoral Act 2022, which mandates APC to challenge the candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Furthermore, we urge Nigerian citizens, civil society organizations, and international entities to join forces and stand up against corruption and demand justice for the Nigerian people. 
Only by reinforcing the rule of law and ensuring transparent and fair electoral process can Nigerian democracy truly survive. Furthermore, we urge, furthermore, we call on Democrats in Nigeria and the government and the people as being the founder, democratize the government of people, for the people and by the people, to let the mandate of the elected member or the elect or the electorate count. If democracy is truly the government of the people, by the people and for the people, let mandate of the elected House of Representatives and Senator Neplum Bali restore immediately. The presidential election petition court has already ruled and spelled out the section of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, how an elected public officer can be disqualified. Since the presidential election tribunal has, has no jurisdiction on the pre-election matter, how come that the Plateau State National Assembly Election Petition Tribunal have, have jurisdiction on the same pre-election matter? Citizen United for Democracy is dedicated to promoting democracy values, transparency, accountability. We stand in solidarity with Nigerians' citizens in their struggle for justice and call for immediate reversal of the corrupt judgment, holding on those responsible, holding those responsible accountable for their actions. Thank you. Uh, 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 election tribunal only. We are, we, are, we are speaking on behalf of the entire Nigerians. Areas where this kind of uh, judgment has been passed that are not in line with our constitution should be corrected. Decision to improve that have not meet up with the yearnings of Nigerians. Because in a de democratic uh, uh, government where somebody stood for election and the person was voted by the electorate and at the end of the day, the person was denied uh, 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 his, his, his right because uh, maybe he did not approach the courts in the right uh, perspective. I think the judiciary should do more. That's what I said.